G'day and welcome to Ali on Herbs with Ali Sanchez. I'm your host, Peter Montgomery from the PeterMontgomeryShow.com. Now, Ali is a practicing traditional herbalist working out of her clinic in Glenbrook, which is in the Blue Mountains just outside of Sydney. And she's very passionate about educating the general public on the uses and the benefits of the common herbs, the ones you've either got in your garden or that you can easily grab at the shops. So what have you got for us this week, Ali? Hi, Pete. Well, today I thought I'd talk about one of my favourite herbs, and it's a herb that I think in today's world, with all that um, information, we've got a lot of technology, it's a really intense time that um, this particular herb is going to become even more popular, and that's the herb lavender. Now, I like to think of lavender as nature's big cuddle. Lavender has such a calming effect, as a calming effect not only on the body but also on the spirit. It's for, you know, when times in life just get a little bit too much, you know, we might be doing everything, we're chasing our tail, we've got deadlines on at work, the kids are fighting, the husband's disappeared, whatever's going on, you know, life is just ah, going a bit insane. Lavender. Lavender, and most people would be familiar with that gorgeous fragrance of lavender. Well, the herb itself makes a beautiful tea. It's quite strong, so as a tea, so you only need about half a teaspoon in a cup for lavender, but it just does so much to restore the spirit um, when we're just feeling, you know, emotionally and physically exhausted. Okay, so do you mean like stuff like anxiety, depression, that sort of thing? Like can you use lavender for that? Yes, exactly, Pete. That's, you know, anxiety. Like, so many people have anxiety this day, um, these days. And, yes, lavender is, if I'm making a mix for somebody, I'll always put um, lavender in a mix. And for depression too, if anyone is experiencing, you know, bouts of depression, like mild depression, then um, lavender, again, the tea. And you know what's a great mix is lavender and rosemary, which we've already spoken about rosemary before. But lavender and rosemary together in a tea, work beautifully just to um you know lift the spirits and bring back the energy and you know the get up and go to you know take on life again um lavender also in in keeping with all um this theme um insomnia a lot of people who have anxiety or they're just mentally exhausted um they can't sleep at night and so lavender again is a beautiful herb just to induce um calmness it helps just to disperse all the energies in your body and just you know to regulate your body more and it helps to bring on um you know just a sense of peace to be able to go to sleep at night, which, again, is becoming more and more of a problem. Um, what I should talk about too, Pei, is not just lavender the herb, which is beautiful. Um, I don't know if I mentioned we use the flower of the Lavendula augustifolia um, plant. Um, the flower is what we use. Um, but also the essential oil. The essential oil is wonderful. It's often called a first aid kit in a bottle. You can use um, lavender oil um, the way you'd use something like Dettol, um, you know, any cuts, scrapes, any sort of injuries. Um, the oil is a really strong um, antiseptic. It's antibacterial. It helps to, so it helps to clean out your injuries, but also it helps to heal them. So it helps to prevent scar. But healing, and what's great about it, particularly those who have children or you may have big kids, um, is it doesn't hurt. You know, some of those like dead oil and some of those things that can hurt the kitties, lavender, not at all. It's, again, like I said, it just it has that gentleness about it. It's a very nurturing, nurturing herb. And still with the essential oil and um, talking before about insomnia, a great idea is if you do have problems sleeping at night is a lavender bath. You know, um, put a few drops in your lavender, of the lavender oil in your bath. You can use the herb in the same way, um, but with the herb, you, it's best off putting it in like an old stocking or something so you don't get, you know, herbs going down your um, bath, bath um, plug hole and causing all sorts of dramas. And uh, But lastly, probably uh, what I should mention, and so again, some people might be familiar with this one, is for headaches. Um, the lavender oil, you can just, you know, rub that on your temple behind your neck and it helps to relieve a headache. 
the tea works and the herb works in a similar way to just, um, yeah, just again with that calming, nurturing um, feel of the herb, yeah, will reduce headaches as well. So, yeah, can you tell I just love lavender? Well, thanks so much, Ellie. I look forward to catching up with you next week. Thanks, Pete.